What? Wow. Wow. What a monster, dude. Hey, congratulations, dude. What? What did? Where did you? What else did you catch? You got anything else we can show? Oh my goodness, you guys! Look at those flags. A hunt. That that's in Miami or in the Keys? That was here. Wait for it, my friends. Out from Montana here, we're at the boat ramp, at Blackport Marina. Oh, this guy, guys, guys, ready. He's gonna go ahead and whiskey throttle here. He just told me he's gonna whiskey throttle right here from the boat ramp. And wait for it. Ready? One, two. I was just joking, guys. He can't do that here. This is a no wake zone because we got manatees. So you're not gonna see that happen over here. If you want, he can do that somewhere else. Doesn't this make you like give you the Miami Vice vibe? Like this is badass, dude. Um, the boat ramp is on fire. Look at this, guys. Look, look at this. Look at this. It's just, it's just crazy. Oh my goodness, man. This is like Miami Vice chicho amazingness. How cool is this, dude? Show time at the chicho. Seems like he's only using one engine. Yeah, he's, he's down one. He's down uh, port, guys. It looks like he's down port. That is, that is badass. Wow. How cool is that, dude? Showtime is back. Wow. That's an intro, guys. Welcome back. Como está eso por allá? Good? Todo, todo está bueno. Día está perfecto estar allá afuera. Perfect day to be out on the water, guys. Perfect day to be out on the water. You think I got a client? Is that a distraction from you? Is that what is, is that what's going on? No, I I appreciate I I I appreciate the courtesy. <laughs> I have a client over here. He says I have a client, guys. Let's go ahead and see if there's a wait 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 for it. No, no. Where's this client from? Where's this client from? You've been following for the last 30 minutes when you're coming down the channel? <laughs> oh my goodness. So far so good. Listen. That is not a client. He did a great job. Boom. Perfect. This is what we aspire to. That was beautiful. Maybe it was a distraction. Hold on, guys. Look. Let's see. Let's see. Wait for it. Was this a, what is it, a distraction? Was it? No, he's good. Wait, wait, he knows that the camera's on him. A uh, little love tap, a little harder than normal. I won't give you a 10 on the dismount, bro. I don't know, stop. That was a good eight. If I had to put it on the Richter scale. On the Alfred scale, uh-oh. Flat spoon in the house. Mm. 
these guys are coming out pretty late. So if they're gonna go stay out on the, uh, so in on a boat trip, guys, in the water, Boca Chita and Elliot is about a, a boat that can go maybe 35, 40 miles an hour. You're talking about maybe 25 minutes, 30 minutes uh, on the bay, right? So the bay is typically not that rough. But it, it on a windy day, it could. But right now, it should be flat calm. It should be very, 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 very calm because there's not a lot of wind. The wind, for those of you guys who don't follow boating, just look at the wind. When you're going to go on any boating expedition, anything, fishing, anywhere, excursion or something, just watch the wind. That's, that's a major factor. And the tides, obviously, right? Based on where you're coming out of. But... But more the wind. What's going on, bro? What's up, brother? You guys went fishing or just to chill? Yeah, man. I had a good ass run. Uh, like the Chino run, bro. You were, you were doing a run? Yeah, yeah, man. Like the Chino run. Where? Nice. Run, nice. What is that, a Paramount? Yes, sir. Yeah. Those are fast boats. I knew there was, I was seeing a lot of boats that haul ass on the water out here. Mosquitoes are eating me to shreds. Well, in all fairness, guys, when you go fast, all you gotta do is go forward, right? Just go, oh man, this, all right, this is, oh man, damn it. It was a fun run, guys. Oh man. No, don't, don't, don't whiskey throttle here, guys. Don't whiskey, don't whiskey throttle here. Just try again. Round two. All right. Um, like I said, if you push it forward, there's no, there's no, there's no break on a boat, guys. It's forward, neutral, reverse. He thinks he's running away from the zone. The friend goes, where are you going? He's like, I heard. <laughs> Maybe we can wait him out. <laughs> no, you can't. I will not leave until there's utter darkness. I'm that good. Wait for it, guys. Oh, no, not the back. Hurry up, adjust, adjust. No, nope, you got to go past it. Go a little bit past it so you don't lose the stern. And if you lose the stern, you're not going too fast. It's not going to hit hard. You have your bumpers. You're good. Wow. Just go a little bit further ahead so you don't lose the back. And then you'll never do a side dock ever again in your life. Ever. Let me get this over here. Everybody's like, yo, we're going home. Oh my goodness, I am like, I, I look like a crackhead over here, scratching myself left and right. Come on, there's a couple things going on here that I want to, I want to analyze. There's this. Which can, which can evolve quickly. There's this, which can be a home run. Then there's, then there's that right there in the front with the wheels in the water. 
which can be a grand slam. I don't know. Anybody want to hit the for the cycle? Alright, these guys are a little far, but I guess they have friends over there they're going to throw lines to. And then this guy. So he's going to lose the back again. Now, oh, boom. There it is. And that, and that, there's no current. You see that? See? See? See, guys? All you got to do is go a little bit further up. You will never lose the back ever again. I, feel, I mean, I, I feel like I... You know how like you train parrots to talk and you just say the thing over and over and over and over. It's like you guys don't listen. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to do an educational course. I guys I've never ridden I've driven a boat in my life, but uh, I have common sense. I have driven a boat in my life. I'm being facetious here. And for those of you guys that know what facetious means, look it up. Maybe you learned something today. Facetious is the word of the day. Facetious. All right, these guys are about to bloop bloop their man. Yeah. gonna lose it at the end he's gonna lose it at the end oh no she failed at the toss oh he but she had she handed it relax relax over here everybody's freak, freaking out get your boat off of my boat don't you dare bring your boat next to mine's don't you dare what is this type of behavior oh my goodness what is this, guys? This is the chit show. That's what it is. That's what you're watching. My name is Alfred Montana, and you are, oh no, are going to wait for it. Yes, we're going to stay here at the boat ramp all day and talk chit. Are you guys even ready for the boat ramp? Um, wow, I thought this clip was going to end already, but this is getting better, guys. These guys are back. I told you they'd be back. There's no running from the Zoom, bro. I told you, there's no running from the Zoom. It's like, damn it, he's still here. I thought this guy can't work if there's no light out. Time out, guys. There's, there's a double chit show going on over here. Wait. Oh, now the ultimate distraction. You have the Bluetooth and they're calling you. Your mom. I haven't talked to you all day. You're out in the water. You didn't call me once. I thought you were dead. What happened, mi amor? I don't know. Mom, mom, can I call you back? She's calling, guys. You better answer mom's phone, bro. Oh, man. Meanwhile, over here, they got, they finally come, came through. Oh, this is the uh, second time around. Oh, we got another boat coming through. A CV in the house. He's loving life up there in this CV. Well, here's one of the things, guys. Here's one of the things I noticed. I noticed that close by. People that have bigger boats that normally keep their boats on the water, that they have a trailer. Come here, man. That have um, boats on the water, they, um, they're pulling their boats out. To put gas. What's up, dude? How you doing, man? Alfred, nice to meet you, dude. 
Watching What's up, man? How you doing, Richard? Uh, here, man. We're here filming the chit show. Yeah. I've been I've been hawking this guy over here for a minute over here, going to two. He's uh. Playing your best one so far is the pissed off ball guy right here across. Oh, the escalated. Yes, the the escalated the quickly video. Yeah. That one had a little bit of everything because it had oh Fred. God. It had Fred. The guy said hello. Yeah, he hit himself in the head inside. The, it was a great guys. If you have not seen the escalated quickly video, you got to see that one. It's hilarious. Were you guys just hanging out or you're on the water? Yeah, we're just there watching yeah. this. Yeah, you're here. You're at him and uh, well, we all watch him. But him and my, my son him following you. Where, where, where um, are you guys boat yourselves? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we you come out of here? We had we used to be about yellowfin here for a few if we had that. Mm-hmm. So you guys been watching the channel for a minute? More of our boating, we did it in the Bahamas from here, so it it does not watch too crazy. You mean the chicho is a problem? Huh? The chicho is a problem? <laughs> oh my goodness! So yeah, we um I don't know if you knew we had a uh, the Sunk Verado uh, party yesterday. Yeah, it was cool, man. It was awesome. We had so much food. Um, a bunch of YouTubers passed by. It was nice. Let's, let's go, man. What's your name again? Michael. Michael. You go to school around here, Michael? Uh, nearby here, no, but... Uh, but you're doing good in school? Oh, yeah. Nice. Come here, Michael. Come here, wait. Come here, wait. What do you think is going to happen right here? Look, this is... I think this is this guy's second go-around. Like, that he's got him... He's got him worried. Watch this. Watch this. What would I say right now if something's going to happen, Michael? Either he's going to hit the bow or... There you go. Dad, Dad watches more than you, Michael. <laughs> Wait for it. Nah, he's good. He's good. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it right here. I'm going to zoom in on this truck, even though this truck is being overly cautious. Because they're going to bloop, bloop, bloop. What's up? Let's go. There you go. Awesome. Dude. Take one Take one here. Here, let's do a selfie together, all of us. Here. Yeah, put it. Put it. Get right here, Dad. So I'll get the camera in the background. There we go. Oh, you know who I used to work for? Boat Center. Really? Gary, yeah. Ga did you see the group or the Gary Bot? Boat Center from 2004 to 2008. Did you see yeah, the, the black. Dude, he it killed black. it with that freaking huge black. And he went and did all that by himself. Go to his office one. Go to the store, walk in his office, see what he has on the wall, the pictures. Yo, man, listen, Gary's been there for years, oh, dude. Yeah. And the team is awesome over there at Boat Center. Hello! They're they're awesome, dude. What were you doing over there? What's that? What, at Boat Center when you were working there? I did sales. There. You did sales. Doug. I did oh. sales with Doug from 2004 to 2008. So, so wow, we're talking about a minute. This is like back there. I bought my first contender from. I ended up going to work with them later. Uh, you worked where a contender? No, I bought a contender from Gary. Okay. In 2003. Okay. 2004, I ended up going to work for them. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh boy, look at these guys. These guys are coming in hot. These guys are coming in. Oh, he slowed it down at the end. Uh-oh. Whiskey throttle? Yay or nay? There's a lot going on here, guys. We're going to get shot killed right now by this boat. Oh, yeah. You know this is people are here on the weekends, so. Not really, man. The, uh, fuel prices are not affecting boating. L listen, listen. You know, you know what, what the people are doing? The people are... They're going less fast. They're going slower and they're burning less fuel so that's their out I'm saying, and most of these guys are just hopping across the bay to uh, listen it's not affecting the boat ramp yeah. it's not affecting now it, it, it is it is going to affect it is going to affect it will affect not, maybe not now because it's summer this is what people save their money to do right, right? so hi guys what's up so I, it, it's not really affecting it um, like I said, the, the behavior is changing a little bit. You, you got a couple of guys that'll that'll go and call Tobo US and uh, and get a free. You know, they're not really running out of gas, and they're like, "Tow me in." <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> no, but I wouldn't be surprised if somebody goes and and does that. But listen, um, what I did see, like I was talking about that earlier when you when you guys uh, right before you came. Like big boats, they normally will fill up for six seventy-five a gallon on the water. They're they're getting their big ass trailer, 
and they're pulling the boat out of the water and they're filling up in a gas station. Yeah. So they're not doing that. Um, they're saving themselves like two bucks per gallon. Yeah. And if you want to go to Bimini or something, you know, you're talking about a lot of money. It was what in the Bahamas? And 775 a gallon? And and sometimes they don't even have it. Sometimes it's not available. Yeah. Well, you see those people. Look, this this guy's a little erratic, dude. This guy's a little heavy on the throttle. Look, come here, you're gonna wanna watch this. This is gonna get interesting right here, guys. There's, there's a couple of things going on here. Look, look this guy right here is a, a hero for sure. Look, he, he might full throttle at the end and just F it up. Maybe not, but this is offshore hooker. This guy, this guy, he reminds me of the Crusher. <laughs> you guys remember the Crusher video? The Crusher? The guy who went ahead and rammed two outboards and just oh, and then he ends up on a trailer yes yeah, yes yeah, yeah. The, guy, the, the guy in the little he, the fly bridge yes line. yes 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 <laughs> <laughs> the crusher it looked like he was playing ping pong <laughs> the crusher i love the crusher the crusher came back and then he goes what's in get it oh my goodness this this two stroke has has I'm sorry. No, there's two words you got to be able to say at this ramp. What? To be successful. To be successful? You say the, each word three times are in Spanish. What? Dale, dale, dale. Aguanta, aguanta, aguanta. <laughs> okay. Dale, dale means go, 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 go. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Aguanta, aguanta, aguanta means hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at this. What is going on over here? What, what do you think happened here? Did they not get their stern line? How, how does this? No, they don't have. They don't have it. They don't have a, another line. And and uh, here's the sad thing, right? There's probably four manatees right there right now, confused. <laughs> Additional star, abrasions, and contusions. Listen, our our manatees are suffering, dude. They, I mean, bad enough that they're eating carcasses. You know that the oh, manatees. They were just feeding them. I couldn't believe that they were eating. They're, carcasses. they're eating carcasses. They're not supposed to. No. They're supposed to eat, yeah, they're, they're supposed to eat grass and sea grass and all the algae and all that stuff. I've seen them over here eating all this stuff. But um, over here, they, at Black Point, they eat um, everything Fred eats. I haven't seen Fred in a minute either, but. Dude, what is up? This guy should, this is mosquito uh, control over here, guys. Yeah. The mosquito situation is horrible right now. I think if the weather's good next Saturday, it's gonna be the Mecca out here. July 4th weekend? July 4th is always That's a like the Super Bowl here if the weather's good. Yeah, yeah, it's listen, Memorial Weekend is a Super Bowl. But but July 4th is a huge shit show. These guys That's like a black tie event. <laughs> That's a black tie event. Should I wear a black tie when I'm out here? You should do it on 4th of July. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear. If the weather's good, and this thing gets like it should, it should be a black tie event. All right, guys, I'm gonna wear a suit over here. Meanwhile, look, look what happened over here now. Oh my goodness! All right, so, and there's, he's trying to start it. Listen, man. I, I'm just gonna stay right here. I, I could film everything, but you know, sometimes you gotta invest yourself into one thing. Cause look, look, there's there's a chicho. You just analyze a scenario and trust me, something evolves. You can feel it in the air when it's gonna happen. Dude, some guy some guy hit his cowling on the freedom boat dog earlier while I was alive. Right. And all you hear is <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was it was bad, dude. And the the, the thing is, I'm live. I, there's no there's no if ands or buts or there's no way around that. Yeah, that's so funny. Listen, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh. I wouldn't be surprised. Why? Why? Because, listen, I believe it or not, in a, in a weird way, it's actually good that I do this. 
I know, I know, yeah, I'm benefiting from my but channel everything and but everything is being seen, right? And listen, people know that, right? right? Unless, and then if you don't know that, what? Chicho in the house. Hey, be safe out there, guys. So, so, so people know that I'm here. Right. And they're like, either, either they do stupid things to attract my attention. Like if you put music and all that, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna film you because you're just gonna demonetize my video. Right. So I'm not even gonna give you the luxury of being on camera. Yeah. Right. So, so that's obviously always gonna be a problem. But I think people know when they're doing something or gonna be stupid. They're like, hey, I don't want to be that guy. Or that girl, or whatever. What? Coming back to put a slip. Okay. This will get all locked up with boats, and then you're trying to get around, and they're thinking that you're trying to cut them off. Yes. And you're just trying to go through. Yeah. 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 Because people think people think that you're trying to cut the line. But but there's a code now. It's called get off my lawn. I'm going I to. I wonder why they don't put an FWC guy out here with his lights on. Just to hover up here and just remind everybody that the law is present. Listen. It can, get, it can get tense out here. It's just going to make it worse. Honestly, it, w it would make it worse. Because now. You know, it just show that the man is here. You know what I'm saying? Listen, they're, they're parked there. Everybody knows they're parked in the corner. Yeah. They're always parked in the corner. Guys, we have law enforcement. Like now, recently, here's the thing, right? Like, like somebody was telling me back here, they're like, yo, the, the police now are helping with the dock lines, right? Miami Day police will be sometimes, not all the time, because think about it, the, the, the real chit show is happening out there, right. in the water, right? So, so how many people can you get? Look how cool this is. Yeah, I know, this is so different. So, 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 so imagine you, you come over here, you see a police officer, helping you and they're helping you yeah. but i mean if if you're if you're shit place plattered like gone you know that officer is going to do his job yeah. and say listen you know that's not his intent to come over his intent is to help yeah. you yeah. he's here to help you dock your boat because he sees the chit show afterwards right, right. right? And, and and they they're here to help and then, bro I, i'm here i've seen them do it a hundred times Wait, so you're in the, the rib boat business Yes, I I, I, I I restore rib boats, okay. but I haven't been doing that a long time. A lot, and not 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 me personally, uh -huh. right? But we we will retube boats and make them new the tubes. So look, I did a really cool video out of out of this marina. Mm -hmm. There is a Willard seven meter that we did an awesome restoration on. That's interesting. You should see that video. It's badass. It's a it's a seven meter Willard retube. And um, I have one of those shells. Right. Um, so you don't do it anymore? That's I do, I do. But me personally, I don't have the time. All right. So, so I was doing a lot of them myself, right? Like as far as, because I have a very deep network in the boating industry. Mm -hmm. So I don't have the time. I'd rather, I'd rather do all the other stuff that's a little bit more lucrative for me. Right, and I don't have to spend more of my... Listen, making and fixing boats and all that's a lot of work, oh, dude. I grew up in that it's a lot of work. These guys, guys, there we go. 20 minutes and they're still here. Um, bring out the paddle. Bring out the paddle. Uh-oh. Wait for it. Hey, I'll see you getting coffee in the morning, man. Don't run for me. How was the water? Good? Everything good? Um... So, so yeah, I mean, ultimately, um, listen, I still, I'm still doing it and I do it a lot, but not as much as I was doing it because if, if, but it, listen, if I put a video of a restoration of a boat that I do right now, because of the traction that I have on my channel, other guys want to work too. Right. Think about it. What, right now there's, 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 there's some that are, that are away. Yeah. Right. So what do you do? You, yeah. Right. You just go and say, and then. You know, we're already 10 weeks, 12 weeks out. Yeah. What are you going to tell somebody? You're going to wait two years to... No, oh, bro. Yeah. <laughs> this, that, that's not... That's, and, I, and I can do that if I wanted to. And I know some people will wait, but I don't think that's good business. I, I think you should, you know, be... We have our regular commercial people that we're always taking care of. Boom, 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 boom. Do what right. you need to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then people call me personally and they're like, hey, Alpha, where am I at? 
how long would it take for me to do this type of tube? You know, there's people that, that call us and we ship them the tubes already with all the things yeah. that they need to install it themselves, which are easy for us, right? right. We just, we, we don't have to worry about storage or anything because there's a, there's a storage challenge. We, you can't leave a boat out in Hialeah outside yeah, right, right. with a three, 300 brand new Mercury Verado. It'll, it'll be gone in a day. Right. So, so there, there's those t challenges, right? Yeah. So maybe a boat, a, a 40 foot rib boat, you can't fix it in the shop. It won't fit. Yeah. So I think these guys are going to just call it a night right here. Yeah, dude, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's bad. Wait, listen, it was great meeting you. Take it, take it, take great. care, man. Hey, listen, tag me, tag me on, uh, on, uh, nothing, on the picture. Listen, nothing but great times and laughs. No, man, listen, listen, we all have a good time. Hey, thanks a lot, guys. Over here, guys, subscribers hanging out over here. It's always awesome to see like people and their stories and everybody's, guys. We all have stories, right? Whatever it may be, like. Think about it, this guy says he knows Gary from Boat Center from 2004. Now, you know, who knows? There's so much, you know, but I think that's cool. Oh, look at this, look at this. Yeah, guys, luxuryribtenders.com if you're interested in doing some type of retubing or restoration. Um, and I have many videos and restorations on YouTube that you guys can see from from really really elaborate to I we even restored a fountain I did a 32 fountain on my channel now like I said I don't want that to be out there like because I don't want to do it anymore I don't want to do it anymore it's just it's it's a lot of effort for a little bit of money when you really think about it it might seem like a lot of money for a lot but it's, there's so much involved as far as expenses that it doesn't make especially now Right with the inflation scenario and the pro the price of raw materials, every every other month you get a call. Hey, guess what? The the materials are higher this month. I apologize. I'm sorry. I can't do anything about it. It's going to cost you more. And then you have to pass down those expenses to your customer, and it sucks. You know how do you tell somebody you give them a quote? You gave them a quote six six months or a year ago, and all of a sudden it's like forty percent more. The next time they talk to you and then they're like wow this guy's a crook no <laughs> that's that's the world we're living in today so uh oh they're almost there guys oh my goodness trust me guys this is going to be the last wait hold on this is the last wow what a chit show guys i want to thank you guys for hanging out with me and uh I think they almost got it, guys. This is why you need your lines, guys. Wow. Oh my goodness. The, I'm. Oh my goodness. They can't get it over. They they don't have a line to get it over. This is this is guys. This is this is terrible. This is terrible. Oh my goodness. There they they finally they got the. What is that? That looks like. All right, guys. Out for Montana. They're making a scene at the boat ramp, guys. Wait for it, guys. I'm out of here. Hey, you want to watch these other clips? Watch another video. I'm done with this one. Boom! <laughs>